everyone, this is Mama from Blessing by Design. I'm here today on my Samsung Galaxy S7 Plus tablet to show you the Zoto app and our digital planners. It turns out Zoto just had a major, major update. And so I want to walk through the changes in their interface. It looks very different now. And unfortunately, that means all of our videos that are on YouTube for our 2021 planners are with the previous version of Zoto, um, but it's okay. It's going to work just fine. There are just some new locations for things. There's some new tools and it's pretty much all white now. It used to have a blue uh, boxes and now everything on the page is kind of white and there are some new locations for everything. There's really nothing in the bottom left and right hand corners, um, but most everything's at the top. And we have some new drop down menus. Up here on the top left, you can change from just view mode. If I tap, everything kind of disappears. If I tap again, I get these um, toolbars and I also get my Samsung bar down here. That's how I have it set up. Just remember that it really depends sometimes just on the settings. If I go into settings, I will show you here. This is how I have mine set up. I do have it toggled on for a full screen mode and I do have for it to remember the last page when I reopen the document. I have image smoothing on, maintaining zoom level, this enabled JavaScript. Um, I don't do vertical scroll. I like to swipe this way. Um, navigate, navigate list as a side sheet is on, enable color management, show tab bar, um, Continuous annotation edits on, ink smoothings on. I don't have stylus as pen because if that's enabled, um, it just depends on how you like to work. If you prefer to use your hand and the stylus. Uh, and that's pretty much all the settings that I have. You can play with some of these. Uh, and see what you like. Toggle one on and back off again just to kind of go through them. So in this new menu we have view, annotate, draw, uh, fill in sign, prepare form, insert, measure, and pins. And these are basically uh, different menus that when I tap one of these I have the tools that are for that category. Those are all the annotate tools, these are just drawing tools, which is good. They have some new drawing tools in here that make it a little bit better for creating your own templates. Uh, fill and sign is really for, not really for planning. Those are more for uh, documents that you share. So, and preparing forms, same thing. Those are other uh, features of Zoto that you probably wouldn't use in a uh, digital planner per se. Um, they have an insert uh, for placing images and, and stamping approvals. Uh, uh, measuring tools, which is totally new. And just a, a category for pins. If you want to uh, save some pre, they have, they have a way to save preset pins in a new way as well. So uh, lots, to, lots to go over and lots to see here. You still can long press on the screen and you'll get a little window that pops up with um, some tools and some options, which this is still the same as it was before. But of course I can quick just if I want to insert um, an image, let's say. I can just quick insert a digital sticker 
This is from our freebie stickers that we sent out last month. So be sure to sign up for our newsletter and you'll be getting a monthly newsletter in your inbox. If you go over to blessingbydesign.com, that's where you can sign up and you'll get our freebies. So the, the, the mode you'll probably use the most is annotate. Um, and then we have all these different tools. We have a highlighter tool and then we have some different text tools. Now I want to tell you, these are the defaults that come with, uh, Zoto, but they have this new feature here where you can hold and drag and change the order that they appear. You can reset it back to the defaults. So if some of the tools you use more often than others, uh, you can reorder these. And especially if you're on like a mobile, smaller uh, phone device, you might want your more frequently ones on the left-hand side, because I think the, the, the smaller screen will only see the left-hand portion of these. So um, uh, pretty much what else is kind of cool is uh, there's different ways. If you have a whole bunch of things drawn on your page, there's this select tool that I can click and drag and then trash everything that's on the page. That's kind of like good notes now. Um, as always, you can set up your pins for different colors that you prefer and different sizes that you want. and it will save them again and again for certain colors that you like to use. I guess if you open up the pins right here, you actually have uh, two freehand tools of pins and two highlighter and eraser. And then again, there's a way to um, just select everything quickly and to delete it. As always, you want to remember if you place something on a page, uh, let's see. if I place an image on a page like this, whoops, undo, undo is the same or redo or undo. Those arrows are still up here at the top and you can still do those. Um, I can still select this and delete it or move it. But if I ever click on those three little dots and I flatten it, it is forever a part of my page. Forever. So only flatten something on your page if you never want to move it again. So you're probably asking, well, why would I never want to move it again? What you're going to want to do is probably um, create your own templates. So that would be a great place for if I'm, uh, let's see. I like that now they, they do have a line tool that will draw some straight lines for you. If I'm designing my own template, let's say, um, and I never want that line to move again, I will hit flatten. So now notice when I go to select, I can't, I can't even get to that, but that's great for a template. So once I have a template designed and I like things where they are, I can flatten it. And then when I duplicate the page again and again, I will be able to write on it and know that then when I do the eraser, let's see here, let's make a big fat eraser. Look at that, it doesn't erase the line. It'll only erase what I've drawn. I'm still learning. So you can undo or you can redo. So as long as I have one of these tools selected, let's let's go to the highlighter.
it, it thinks that I'm going to be highlighting stuff. So as long as I'm highlighting, I can select everything that's on that page and delete it. But right now I have this tool highlighted so the links to the different months aren't working. If I click off of that tool, now the links are working. So that might take some getting used to is when you're in a tool, you're using that tool, you have to click off the tool in order to then be able to swipe pages and to use the links. that are available. Some of the tools up here at the top, you can search the document. Um, there's not a whole lot of things to search in your digital planner if you don't have anything typed in text. It's only going to search for, for text. This little blue arrow here that pops up briefly, it'll take you to the page you were previously on you can jump back between pages. And this tool up here is just different viewing modes. And this one here is how you get to the thumbnails. It used to be at the bottom left. This lets you see thumbnail images of all the pages of your planner, but copying pages um, is, going to work the same way as it did in the previous version of Zoto. So let's see if I go all the way down here to where I've got some templates. Here's my um, budget template. If I press and hold and highlight it and then I hit these three little dots, I get a little drop down menu. Let me say something here. When I first had the Zoto app update, these little drop down windows were very dark gray and black. I'm not sure why. I didn't have to do any kind of update, but after I had closed the file a few times and then opened it again, they're now appearing white. And I'm sorry to say, I don't know why at first they were black. I've, I've seen somebody else online post that they had the same issue but then all of a sudden now they're fine. <laughs> but if I'm going to duplicate that page, it's the same as the previous version of Zoto. It just duplicated that page right after. And I can still delete that page the same way with just a little trash can. So that was one little glitch we found when we first got updated is that these drop down menus right here, uh, wanted to be blacked out. Now the way to close the document, because I don't have my settings for tabs where I can see the tab closure, um, you can either go into the tabs menu here and you will see it like that with a little X to close it, or you can just close the document. Now, one thing I want to point out, if you're syncing your planner, which I hope you are, you want to open the planner from your Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Now, if you've been using the previous version of Zoto and then your app is updated, make sure that you go back to the original location, either in Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, where you have it stored, to open it again because um, some of us have found if, we, if I just go into recent documents and try to open it when it was from the previous app before the update, it's, it gave me an error message. On my phone, it actually told me, no, go open this from your original backup location. But on the tablet, it just said, oh, this is a read-only file and just gave me an error. So there were a couple of glitches like that that we encountered at first that honestly kind of freaked us out a bit. So now I'm going here and I'm going to open up, oh, let's see, I'm gonna open up a different version of our deluxe. We have eight versions of our deluxe planner. We have three life planners, Motivate Me, and Inspire Me, 
and deluxe planners. And the Inspire Me is vertical and these are all horizontal. You can swipe pages just like you could before. All the links function just like before. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you check out all of our videos of our different planners for 2021. They all work great in the new version of Zoto. It's just, it's gonna look a little bit different in our other videos. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe so that we can keep you up to date. We're going to do a series of more tutorials on Zoto. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.